attitude that's really very uh, offensive to you, but since your understanding is larger, it envelops your reason for existence, that you do not hate anybody, but instead you are there to help everybody. Love is so forceful, but the need is not of love, but of understanding. So, understanding is actually larger than love. Because love, if not, if there is no understanding in it, can turn into a jealousy, and then can turn into a raging jealousy, and love can kill in the promulgation of quote-unquote love. And there is also anger, selfishness, arrogance in love. But I think the scriptures are correct when the scriptures say that understanding, you know, uh, sick wisdom, but in all you're getting, get understanding. Understanding is large. When you look at somebody, then you rock that somebody with your understanding mind. Now why is the person poor? And you don't have, you know, disdain over the poverty of other people, but then you only have understanding and you have care. The main target, or the main goal, is not to know quantum physics. You know, although we discuss quantum physics here, we discuss about the zero field, and we discuss about emotions, and the neurons and the chemical reaction of neurons. The main target are not those things. The main target is not even learning or knowledge per se. It is not to learn about meditation or yoga practices. Although we discuss about meditation, we discuss about mind training. The aim is to make your life become powerful and more effective. you can do so many things to become an effective human being. Some people are powerful, but they are not effective. They don't have that universal purpose, and they do not have that proper reason for being. The rich, the powerful, but the wrong, they use the, the power, they use their power in the wrong way. It is not to be powerful so that you can do what you please. It is about becoming powerful so that you can be a deliverer. Why a deliverer? This should be your main reason for being. And that is to be able to be God's deliverer 
uh, people to live for Earth. And when you see a situation that needs assistance, needs changing, you pray to God that not the other individual is going to be the one to change the situation. You pray to God that you'd be the one to change that situation. Otherwise, if you would say, I don't care, you know, other people can actually do it, you know, I don't care, and then you begin to not really expansive and then you miss your true reason for being to be able to care and to be able to help. And that's why you must become powerful in all things. Because when when you have the funds, when you have the finances, when you have the ability, then you can already do so.